Hi, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to begin exploring pastels by talking about the difference between hard pastels, soft pastels, and pastel pencils. So let's get started. Contrary to what most people think, pastels aren't necessarily chalk. Just like paint, Pastels are made up of a pigment and a binder that are compressed together to hold its shape. One of the most common types of binders for pastels is gum trigacanth. However, there are other forms of binders out there, such as clay and types of chalk, which is why sometimes you'll hear them called chalk pastels. There are three main types of pastels, and the first type that we'll be talking about is hard pastels. Hard pastels come in sticks that are either rectangular or cylindrical and have more binder in them than pigment, which makes them a lot more rigid. This makes them excellent for detail work and bold mark making. However, it's important to note that this limits their blending quality, which varies depending on the type of paper you use. This is the first type of chalk pastels that most artists buy when dipping their toes into this medium. Following hard pastels is soft pastels. Now, soft pastels are much more buttery in texture and are extremely blendable, and this is because there is less binder in them and more pigment. This makes them great for covering large areas, creating soft blended textures, and creating vibrant colors. It is important to note that while most people will use hard pastels to create detail, you can create some softer details with soft pastels. And personally, these are some of my favorite types of pastels to work with. Speaking of detail, if you are interested in creating fine line work, such as for fur, you have another alternative than using hard pastels, which are pastel pencils. Now, of all the pastels, pastel pencils have the most binder in them, which allows them to retain a fine point. This sharp fine point allows us to create thin line work and is excellent for minute details in our pieces. Now, if you are going to purchase your first set of chalk pastels, there's a few things you should be aware of. First and foremost, each brand is going to have its own blend of pigment to binder, which can be really frustrating, as sometimes you might pick up some soft pastels that are actually more medium hard, or pick up hard pastels that are really brittle. To avoid this, I suggest reading reviews ahead of time of brands that interest you to see whether or not they're going to work in your own practice. I am a landscape artist, and so I use soft to medium soft pastels, and I actually use my local art store's brand, which is Blick Art Supply. Now these are not quite as soft as other brands out there, but I do enjoy working with them. My only thing that I have to be aware of is sometimes they have a bit of a wax coating on them that I scrub off ahead of time so it doesn't transfer onto my paper. I also have Sennelier <laughs> chalk pastels, which are even softer than my Blick brand and are beautiful to work with. So you may end up having to spend a little bit more money when getting started with chalk pastels to figure out what you're going to like best. The last two things you need to know before purchasing your set is that while pastels are blendable, they do not mix like paints, so you're going to need to purchase a wider variety of colors. And lastly, you're going to want to check to see how safe your pastels are to work with with bare hands. If the pastel box or package has the AP logo on it, it means it's safe to use and you can go ahead using them with bare hands. If it doesn't have this logo, I suggest checking their website first to see whether or not they are safe to use with bare hands, because if they don't have that logo, it means that the pigments might be pretty pure, which can contain heavy metals and cause cancer, so you'll have to wear gloves while working with them. So always just do a quick check to see whether or not the AP marker is on it. So whether you decide to buy hard pastels, soft pastels, or pastel pencils, I hope you found this video helpful to get your journey started. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Or if you'd like to see more art education videos or stuff from my own practice, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you again, and I look forward to seeing you next time.